Hi, my name is Steven Salmon, just like the fish. And I'm Ashley Best, just like the best. She is the best. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. You're my new co-host today. Where's Brent? I have no idea. Yeah, we don't know. So we decided that we we're just going to shoot this. Have fun today. Um, it's pretty cool. It's exciting. We're here in the building. Um, and today's episode is not sponsored by what? Zagnut bars, mm. which I have yet had the pleasure to eat. Or displeasure. Or displeasure. Yeah. I don't know yet. It but is peanut butter. It's chocolate. It's peanut butter. It's coconut. Uh, filming. It's Brent. Filming, rolling. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey. <laughs> well. Should kids eat in children's ministry? Ooh, that's a good topic today. Like, should? Like, not in general. Like, right. kids should eat. Yeah. But, like, in no. your ministry. So what you're saying is, yes, children should be allowed to eat, but if they come to church, probably not. What's your argument? No, that's not an argument. I'm just asking you. Oh, oh. I'm just clarifying that that is what you're talking about. Yes. Okay. Okay, what's your answer? Um, well, here's the thing. I think that kids, I mean, certain ages, obviously they need to eat because something's going on. They're developing, their brains are developing, different stuff. But um, older kids, no, I don't think so. Goldfish, all that kind of stuff. I think it's not really about the eating so much as that was a crutch to fill time because we didn't know what to do with these kids for an hour. Okay. Whereas today, we can be proactive and going in there and going, hey, we need a plan, we're going to fill this hour, and we're going to tell them about Jesus. I hate the idea of we only get these kids for an hour each week, maybe 40 weeks out of the year, and we're going to fill some of that time eating goldfish instead of talking about Jesus. What do you think? So is this a they can't eat because you want to avoid the mess or because it's a time filler? Uh, I, I think, I personally think that once you hit the elementary age, eating becomes a time filler, that it's a crutch. Yeah. Okay. But that's my thoughts. We want to know your thoughts now. <laughs> the best, the best thoughts. The best thoughts. Yeah. There, there's, forget this. I mean, who's this in the background? We don't even know. We don't even want this guy. What's going on? We want the best thoughts. Hmm. I know this is weird. Usually you're behind the camera. I, now you're in front I of the camera. Am. People, this is a big step for <laughs> Ashley, okay? You're a kid and you've been given a Zagnut bar. Why yeah. Why will you not eat Oh, it? yeah. Why will you not eat the Zagnut bar? This is good. Uh, so food allergies, okay. I guess. That's a good explanation. That is a good one. Do you have I any just, food allergies? I just allergies? thought of that on my own just now. Do you now. have any food allergies? I do not. Lucky. Nice. But... Gluten? No. You can eat it. I can eat it. Um, uh, uh, good. But I do. Wheatgrass? Well, I prefer not to, oh, but okay. I could well, eat it, I guess. Okay, nice. Um, I do have low blood sugars, so that's mm. a question for you. Oh, do so you what you're say saying kids is. Kids can't eat at all. What if they need to? Hold on. So, with the low blood sugar thing, yes, we don't feed them goldfish. Candy? They get plenty of that <laughs> on that church on Sunday. Yeah, candy? Awesome. Goldfish, not so great. Do parents appreciate? Yeah, we usually give it to candy? them at the end, so the parents kind of have a little bit of control over how much they get. Okay. Yeah. But there was the one time on a first Wednesday where I was a little bit upset over something, and so I decided to give all the kids Oreos and Coke and send them all home to their parents at 8.30 at night having just eaten Oreos and drinking Coke, yeah. You were upset with the parents? Uh, I was upset with, I think, one parent. So and I decided punished to punished everyone. I decided to let all parents experience. Wow. Yeah. And you're still a children's pastor. I'm still here. It's still working for you. Yeah, this is good. This is good stuff. Hey, in the comments below, let's know what you think about eating food in church. This has been Stephen Salmon. And Ashley Best. The best for the best <laughs> podcast, Fusion Ministry Podcast. Thank <music> you.